Handbags has never been something that I have been that obsessed with. I don't collect that many. I don't covet kind of the latest designer bag, although definitely have done in the past, but I still find it an integral part of my capsule wardrobe. And it's really nice to have nice bags. It's nice to have versatile bags that go with every outfit I can imagine. And it's also nice to have those kind of slightly more statement bags as well that kind of just add a little something special to your wardrobe. If like me, you have a more simple wardrobe, a more paired back capsule wardrobe full of minimal kind of colors and styles, handbags can really add just that finishing touch. Today, I'm gonna to share my entire handbag collection with you. And when I say entire, I mean like eight to nine bags because it's not that big of a collection. It's really only grown probably in the last year or so. Um, before that, I just had literally like two bags. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk through each of the bags and share why I love them, why I think they're such an important part of my capsule wardrobe and kind of ways that I style them as well. So this video was a request from a subscriber. So I really hope you enjoy this video. And I thought it was a great idea as well because I don't think it's something I've done before. Not like if I did, it's like years and years ago. But yeah, like I said, don't have tons to share, but I do also have an unboxing to share throughout the video as well. I have a few new pieces from Katie Loxton that I was kindly um, gifted. I was given a gift voucher and kind of got to pick what styles I wanted myself. I have a discount code to share with you for those as well, but let's just talk through them in kind of category wise. So I'm going to start with shoulder bags. This is definitely the oldest bag of all of these. This I got from ASOS a lot, of, four years ago maybe, maybe even a bit more. Um, it's just kind of like that kind of satchel or like saddle bag style. Um, and it's very soft. It's a really nice tan brown. It's faux leather and it just has this nice shoulder strap that is actually long enough for me to wear as a crossbody strap, which is kind of how I wear it the most, I think but I also can just wear it on my shoulder as well. You will have seen this so much. I do tend to get a lot of questions about where this bag is from, but unfortunately because it's ASOS and so long ago, I can never find it to link, it's sold out. Um, but with all of these bags, I'll try and find alternatives and link some below um, in case you wanna shop similar styles. Again, as I wanna know by a year, and if any of you are as well, I just want to put a disclaimer that just because I linked something, it doesn't mean you need to buy it or you should buy it if it's not something that you were kind of consciously looking to buy anyway. Um, I'm not trying to make you impulse shop here, so I will leave those links below, but only look if you need to. But yeah, I just think this is such a versatile bag. I love the color of it. I think it just injects a really nice color into a lot of my more neutral outfits. So if I'm wearing something that's maybe all black and white, this just looks really cool, um, kind of as my third color. Yeah, I wear this a lot. I wear it a lot during summer, autumn, winter. It's one of those all year round bags. The next shoulder bag is this little one that I got last summer from Riois. Um, It was sent to me. So any that I didn't buy myself, I will, I will mention. Um, it's a really cute little style. It's possibly the smallest bag I have. Um, but it's really sweet and what I love about it is two-tone. I think it, the kind of canvas, I don't know, it just gives it a more kind of summery vibe when I wear it. So I do kind of keep this for like spring and summer a little bit more. I didn't really wear it much. I didn't wear it all, I don't think, through winter um, and not much through autumn either. It just feels a bit more summery. So when I'm wearing maybe like a summer's dress and it's just all one color and then this just kind of adds in um, one or two more tones to the outfit. It's a really neat little bag. It does only fit on the shoulder. It wouldn't fit crossbody or anything like that. Um, but I really like it. And I just think it's, when I just need a small bag for wallet, glasses, lip gloss. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Maybe phone. When I just need something to put a couple of bits into, probably fits a tote bag as well. This is what I'll grab for. And yeah, like I said, it just adds a bit more of a summery vibe to my outfits. My next shoulder bag is a brand new piece from Katie Loxton. So let's unbox it together because I haven't worn it at all yet. So I went for something a bit different and got a color. This is the only colorful bag I have in this whole collection. Colorful as in not like black, tan or brown. Um, but I thought this was a great neutral to add to my wardrobe and I wanted to add something a little bit different. So this, for me, is going to be kind of one of those more statement bags. 
So this is also a shoulder bag and it has a slightly longer strap, but it's also adjustable if I wanted to make it shorter. But I think this is just going to be a really nice, comfortable bag. It's a quite a decent size as well. It's probably bigger than both of the other shoulder bags. So if I need something that holds a little bit more stuff, like this could hold my camera as well. Um, if I was kind of out and about taking some photos, it could hold like a little notebook and even a small book, things like that. So I'm really excited to get some wear out of this. And I, I kind of played around with this in my open wardrobe app and I saved down the, the picture of the bag and kind of collaged it into some outfits. And I just think the color is gonna work really well. Now I did consider kind of testing this out a little bit before I included it in the video and not doing an unboxing because obviously I can't share my honest opinion of the bag when I've never used it. But I thought it was a good idea to share it now and then I know I'm gonna have this in future videos so I can let you know how I get on with it. Um, but I really, really love this and I can link this exact bag below as well. And like I said, I have a discount code for it. Um, I think maybe like 15% off, something like that. So yeah, I really like this style and I'm excited to start styling up a different color into outfits. I just think it'll be fun, more fun than always reaching for like black or tan. Um, yeah, I just like it and I just think it's a really neutral kind of blue. I feel like it's gonna go really well with denim. I feel like because denim is a core piece of my wardrobe. So that kind of brings those blues into my color palette. So this is gonna kind of, kind of sit alongside that. Okay, so the next category is crossbody bags. But I have two that also kind of work as shoulder bags because they have um, different straps that kind of in, that mix and match. The first one is this. This is also from Riois that I got last summer. And I've also had tons of questions about this bag before. And as far as I know, last time I tried to link it, it was still available. So I can link it below. It has this long strap, which I love. I tend to wear crossbody most of the time. Um, but if I want to wear it for like an evening out or something, I will put the shorter strap on it, which I can't find, but I will show you in the cutaways. Um, it's a really nice size bag. It doesn't fit tons of stuff, but again, it can fit like my wallet, my tote bag, um, my keys, my phone, sometimes a book if I have a small enough one. So this is a really great kind of everyday bag and I have worn this tons and tons and you will have seen this in so many videos since last summer as well. So I can testify it's a great bag. Again, it's faux leather, but it's a really kind of, not hard, but it's like a textured leather, so it, a textured um, fabric, so it doesn't scratch. You can't really tell anyway if it did. Um, it's very durable, so that's nice. And I just feel like it's gonna last for a good while longer. So I'm very much enjoying using this. And it, it's kind of one of those bags that when I just need um, something very discreet, um, like my outfit's already kind of done enough and I just need a black bag to put with it. I feel like black is probably my most versatile, but then tan is like when I want a little a versatile bag, but a pop of color. I also have this bag, which again has had um, quite a lot of attention since I got it at Christmas. Andrew, my husband, got me this for Christmas. This is by the brand Cassandra Paris, um, but he found it in TK Maxx, so it was discounted, so it's nice. Nice little treat. Um, it has this little strap, which is really nice to put kind of over the hook of your arm, hook of your arm, crook of your arm, but it also comes with a full um, crossbody strap as well. That is in size, so it's quite long. Um, so I have both options. So I think when I'm kind of going on a night out, I like to just maybe have the option to hold it in my hand or like I said, put it over my arm. But then when I'm out and about during the day, I like the security of a crossbody bag. Um, it just feels, yeah, more secure, like I said. This is a really nice size as well. It's kind of a deeper bag than the last little black one. Um, although because it's so structured, you don't fit as much in because you can't just stuff it with things. Um, and I just love the detail on it as well on this buckle. It's really nice. It's kind of like a little, um, it's quite hard to close. Like you have to push in the sides and pop it in. But I guess that also means it's quite hard to open. So nobody can kind of open my bag on the sly when I'm wearing it. So yeah, I really love that. And I think it's just a bit nicer and fancier than the previous black bag, just with all the nice gold hardware on it. The last crossbody bag I have is another new piece from Katie Loxton. And this is kind of, and this is the second of the two um, bags that I managed to get with my voucher. So it's just this beautiful kind of chocolatey brown color. Absolutely adore this. You can see the stuffing's gone out of this because I actually, I really wanted to wait until I'd filmed this video to use it. But yesterday 
I had an outfit on and I was going out for a walk and I was like, this would just be the perfect bag to throw on. I had my phone, a snack, um, my keys, a tote bag. Yeah, it just fits so comfortably on the body as well. It's a slightly longer cross body bag, kind of sits more on my hip and I just love it. I love the color. Um, Katie Locks and bags as well are quite affordable. So if you were looking to add some new bags to your collection, that would be a great place to look. Um, yeah, I love all the gold hardware on it as well. This also came in kind of like a sagey green. And I was really tempted to add that green color in as my pop of color over the blue. But then I was just a bit more drawn to the shape of that bag. And that blue is just a really nice shade. It's like somewhere between blue and navy, like just that in between. But I think a sage green could be lovely. It also comes in like black and like more neutral shades. But as you can see, I'm kind of sorted with my neutral bags. And I thought this chocolate was a nice update from my tan brown. So it's just a variation of what I have. So I know it's going to be really easy to incorporate into my outfits. Another bag I have is this tote bag. This is a Carvella bag. I got it on Vinted, I think, for like £8. Um, maybe like two, three years ago. I wanted something really smart for work, but then I have to carry my laptop to and from work every day, so it actually doesn't fit in this. But at the time, I didn't have to do that. Um, but it is a really nice smart bag. I can fit kind of like my iPad and some notebooks or a book in it, so it's great if I do want to carry a little bit more extra stuff with me. Um, and it's just quite a nice smart kind of bag where maybe if I go to meetings or to meet like a client or a a brand or something um so i really like it doesn't get as much use as my other bags but i do think it's a great bag to have it's a really nice color for my um color palette in my wardrobe as well it also has a long strap which is useful if i just don't want to have to carry it like this but i think for the size of it it's really easy to carry by the handles um yeah and i just really like it and i think it's one that i'll probably have for a while whether i use it a lot or not it kind of can just I'll use it when I need it and then it doesn't take up that much space. I just kind of have it up on a high shelf at the minute. Another little bag I have, which you will see in videos, I kind of tend to throw this in whenever I'm styling up like an evening outfit or party wear looks. This is a bag I got for my wedding. It's just a really nice kind of like flapper style bag, with all the beading. Um, and it also has a long chain strap as well. This is originally from Monsoon, but I got it on Vinted for like 10, 20 pounds, something like that. And it was just the perfect piece for the day and um, for my wedding day but i still wear it and i kind of like that it's my wedding bag and then i get to kind of just wear it on like date nights or you know whenever i don't need a lot of things with me again it's kind of like i could put a card phone lip gloss keys um but yeah i do really love to use it and it adds a really nice touch to my more simple outfits because i like to wear really simple kind of night out outfits whether it's just a really simple black dress or maybe it's like a bodysuit and jeans and a blazer. This kind of makes it feel more evening, that with a pair of heels kind of thing. And then the last bag I have, which is not kind of an everyday handbag, but it is a weekend bag. And it's one that I was so obsessed with for so long that um, Andrew managed to get it for me for my birthday because he knew exactly what I wanted. And it's also from Katie Loxton as well. So this packaging is so lush that when I was getting my own bags. I didn't bother getting the like gift packaging because I had this to show you and I didn't want to waste packaging, but how cute is that? So I was going to buy it for myself, um, but Andrew's like, don't buy anything for yourself before your birthday. Basically, I've just been using this like old tote bag whenever I go on like weekend trips and I just really wanted something super nice that will maybe see me through the next couple of years of trips. Just something that feels just nice to carry around and not like it kind of, not just like kind of an old bag that will do. Um, so let me take this out and not rustle the packaging too much. So this is my bag, it's quite big, I have to lean back to show you. I got it personalised as well and with Katie Loxton you can get the handbags personalised too but I just thought in case it ever comes to a point where I don't use the bag that much and I need to declutter it or sell it on Vinted I didn't want to stick my initials on it and then someone else not want it in the future. Um, but a bag like this I think is really handy for travel because you can always kind of identify it as your bag. Um, so I got my Gemma McLean Bentley um, initials on it. That's my married double barrel name. 
But what I love about this bag and why I was so obsessed with it is that it zips out completely flat into a Garmin bag and then you put your clothes into the bag and then you basically zip it back up into a, a weekend bag and you put stuff inside it. And that might sound really confusing, so I'm going to pop a little reel that I made. I'll pop a little reel that I made on the screen here so you can see what I mean. I did a little pack with me reel, um, or shorts actually as well, if you want to see, I'll link it below. I love the colour of this. Um, this is the one that I was going to pick. I think it comes in maybe black and white, or like a cream, and then this. And I thought this is a really nice light neutral, but not so light that it would look dirty too quick. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this bag. I took it with me to a friend's house um, as an overnight bag yesterday or the day before. Um, and yeah, it was very fun to take out. So having a nice weekend travel bag is important to me because I go home to Ireland every so often just for um, to visit my family. And I just want to be able to have a bag that looks nice when I do that. And that fits everything I need into it, into just one bag. Because Ryanair likes to charge you to bring a suitcase on now and I just like to be able to put everything into a kind of a carry-on and shove it under the seat. I am concerned that it might be a bit big for an under seat bag but I am going to try it and maybe I will update you um, if I manage to get away with it. I'll link that bag below as well, the discount will also apply to that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope you enjoyed seeing all my bags. Like I said it's not a super extensive collection but it is exactly what I need with a few kind of bonuses. It's probably more than what I need, but I definitely don't need more than this. Um, really excited to try out my new bags and to kind of style them up in some future videos. Thank you so much for watching today. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it if you do so. If you enjoy capsule wardrobe videos, kind of styling with what you have, living with what you have, making more outfits out of less clothing, then this is the place for you. I'm also doing a no buy year at the moment where I'm not shopping. Um, for an entire year. I'm over halfway through, but if any of that interests you, I have a ton of videos in a playlist that you can check out as well for a little bit of inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all really soon. Bye.